Oh, no kitchen is complete without a bottle of olive oil. That's and right. what is surprising is how much it can do for your health as well as your taste buds. I love olive oil. I cook with it all the time. It's really good for you. It's healthy. And it's uh, olive oil that is California Aryan. <laughs> California. <laughs> Cal California. California. Yes. 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 Right. yes. Now, you know, you compare olive oils uh, like, like fine wine, too. That's correct. Can, yeah. That's correct. All right. So yeah. how, how is olive oil actually made? Well, um, I think we're going to roll a little, a little tape little here and uh, oh, show something from us. our website. What are we looking we at? We do now? hand harvest everything, and that is a half ton olive bin that's being poured into a container there, taking up this cute little container belt, really to get rid of the leaves and stems. Then the olives get washed. These are certified organic, by the way, all hand harvested. And there we go on the vineyard? stone mill. Is this your vineyard? Absolutely, it's our olive grove. And uh, granite stone mill goes through a series of mixers and centrifuges. And then here it comes, uh, pure liquid gold. There we go. Liquid Look gold. Look at that. Wow. Now, is that considered first mm. press? That's, that's a great question, first cold pressing. Yes, if we were to add heat to the extraction process, we'd get more oil, but it, it wouldn't taste as good. So is that extra virgin olive oil? Is that what it is? No, another no. great question. Mm -hmm. okay. Extra virgin really means that it's less than 0.8% um, acidic. Our olive oils are actually less than 0.3% uh, acidic, and that it's gone through a taste, smell, and color evaluation. But, you know, most olive oils in the store uh, Sixty-nine percent of them are not really extra virgin. Well, so. then how can you tell if it is? Well, that's another great question. Uh, did you read the book? <laughs> I have. I just, by the way, I just saw this book uh, the other day, and and I was looking through the recipes. Absolutely wonderful recipes in here. I'm for sure going to read it because I think this is a great book, and the recipes are terrific. A lot of education. We're uh, cook some for our there. home and family audience. Uh, but getting back to to the wine and the olive oil, how are they like similar? Well, just like there's hundreds of kinds of wine grapes, uh -huh. there are also hundreds of kinds of olives, and terroir is significant. People are always so surprised when they come in and taste fresh olive. Oil. So what's growing around the grove, terroir, fancy word for, for dirt, environment, climate, and um, that really is significant. So you might get some that have a grassy finish, you might get some that have a really fruity finish, or as in our own estate, oil is a very sagey finish because the olive grove is surrounded by California sagebrush. Okay, so uh, uh, just to clarify, because I I'm still don't understand when they say extra virgin, it says on the bottle, extra virgin. My hand goes right there to, to get it. So w exactly what does extra virgin mean? Well, clarify. it should mean that it's less than 0.8% uh, acidic. If I were to but be a chemist and extra, no, here? no. And the so FDA, I mean, this is the sad part. They don't um, police truth and labeling on extra virgin olive oil. Well, so it really it's here. up to the consumer, oh. right? I know, right? So um, it's okay. really up to the consumer well, to a really. <laughs> I don't want to drink it. Okay. It's really up to the consumer, and it should have a little peppery dance in the back right. of your throat. Right, right, right. And you should get it on the back of your palate. The front of your taste buds are not virgin, uh, to coin the term. It's not um, your tongue like the tip Right, of your right. Yeah, you burnt it, you've had coffee with it. So you should try to get it on the back of your palate, the very, very back of your palate. And I mean, we, we eat bread with olive oil and pasta. If you were a professional, you know, you'd suck it through, mm. you know, really get the olive oil to the, to the back of your palate. It's grassy. So it is a grassy one. Oh, see? Yeah. Uh, I got it right. Yes. You got it right. <laughs> it's very grassy. Right. Oh, and the, the terroir is <laughs> Very not. Mm. The terroir like on this particular organic olive grove is definitely the grassy hillsides of California. But I prefer personally fruity. The fruity one. All right. Well, we've uh, got the uh, the yeah. arbequina. You know what? Surprise you to growing olives next to the racetrack is what she said. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. When we come it's back, we're going to taste some of these olive oils, and I especially would like to taste the flower Wait, one. I'm tasting what? it already. What? You are? Yeah. Are you? Okay. okay. <laughs> we'll be right back. Okay. <laughs> Kitchen here with Theo uh, Stefan, and she is here to help us um, do a little tasting. Assessment. Assessment. Right. <laughs> Good word. Before Good we taste word. Can I, can I ask you so the difference have... between olo regular olive oil, extra virgin, and light olive oil? And is it oh really olive oil? No, there's no such thing as light olive oil. 
um, that's completely adulterated and usually flavored with olive oil, and it will have a very low smoke point. It's it's bad for you. Don't buy it. Don't it's buy like canola oil. No, I'm just no, 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 no. But but <laughs> olive oil has a lot of health benefits to it. It does. You know, major antioxidants, phytonutrients. I mean, these are all big words over here. We're like, what is that? But they're basically things that lower your LDL, your bad cholesterol, oh. and um, it, you know, it is a monounsaturated fat and prevents bone loss. It's unnecessary. Yeah, yeah. It lowers and your it's, blood pressure. Absolutely. Know, and it is a necessary fat. And you know, they're doing so many studies on olive oil with respect to even cancer studies, inflammation mm -hmm. for arthritis, and the list goes on and on. So Well, we taste. have we have some tasters up there at the counter ready to go. Yeah? <laughs> Which one of these Lauren do we drink? <laughs> <laughs> They're shooters. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's not nice. uh, Okay, so what do we have? Uh, we're going to sample have, and what are well, our Well, on the left sample? side, we have the, uh, on their left side rather, we have the arbequina, and this is a Spanish varietal. It's certified organic, and I really want you guys to taste this one because it's so fruity. And um, it's a Spanish fruity. one. It's a Spanish varietal, of course, grown here in California, mm -hmm. and very, very fruity. I use it for desserts. I use it for pie crust. Even our pecan pie recipe that's on our website. Everybody has to take mm. a look at that. Oh, I like that. Wonderful for desserts. Very fruity pie crusts. Like I said, cakes, mm. cookies. What do you guys think? Yeah, good. Of course, even I don't salad dressing. So I'm trying with my fingers. With your fingers. Uh, <laughs> Give the girl a spoon. Here, have a French fry. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good I'll French try the French fry. Yeah, there. Try the French fry. Try Pass. Real quick, I want to ask you that because you see a lot of infused olive oil with lemon and oranges. Lemon! lemon. <laughs> oh, oh that's your word. secret Ooh. word, man. Oh, to Jamaica, you need one okay. more, man, and go to the website. Sorry, I got to uh, play. I love that. <laughs> Sorry, but but well, when you see that, is that still a good olive oil to consider buying? You know, it's infused? there again, knowing your grower is so important. I mean, our own lemon and orange olive oils are crushed with the citrus rinds themselves. So we're extracting citrus oils. At the same time, we're crushing a beautiful, fruity, black mm -hmm. mission olive. So and olive oil should not be flavored. If we were to add flavoring or even, you know, like when you buy a garlic olive oil that's on the shelf, it's not extra virgin. It's going to it's gonna make it turn rancid really quickly. Right. So I encourage people to do those at home or know your grower. Mm -hmm. And if they're crushing real fruit or a real jalapeno, say, with a, with a real extra virgin olive and, and I mean, olive oil. I love that also that it's course. not, it's organic, so it's not sprayed with pesticide. Because you're taking the fruit and you're just crushing that, so whatever is on the on fruit is going to get go through there. there. Sure. Let's talk real quickly about the smoking point of olive oil, because I see here you fried chicken and potatoes, and I, I just don't fry with it because the smoke it smokes and then it turns everything rancid. There's so much tasting. bad information out there about I, olive oil. I well, mean, it does smoke. A real so extra virgin olive oil uh -huh. should be between 380 to 400 degree smoke point. And the commercial little fryers that everybody can anybody can buy at pretty much any store, even you know in the big box stores or wherever, the the fry babies they're all preset at 365 degrees. So a real extra virgin olive oil is not going to smoke. If you oh, get one that's smoking, yes, uh, French fry. I mean, we, we love to do veggies. If you've ever had fried veggies in, in Europe, in Greece, or Italy, they taste amazing. It's because they only fry with extra virgin olive oil. All right, if you'd like more information, you can go to our website. And thank you very much, by the way. My Hallmark pleasure. Channel, home and family, uh, forward slash home and family for this information. And we want to thank you so much for being here today. Thank and you. if you can visit globalgardensonline.com. I'm going to get it out. Thank Calaterranean. you so much. Calaterranean. Yes, I got it. The whole segment in my head, I was going Calatrini, Calatrini, Edward McGain is going to perform his hit song, I'll, I'll Be. I'll Be. Oh, I forgot it, Calatrini.